Hi, I'm Sureni from Design Plus Code. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we will continue with the meditation app with Glassmorphism style. This time, we're going to create the explore screen with a little bit more content, more component and complex design. The last video, it was about onboarding screen with a really simple design. Today, we're going to discuss about color, gradient, textile, padding, and how to set all those things and be more organized to work more easy and faster. So let's get started. First of all, we need to organize properly before to get into the design. We have to prepare the color style, the gradient, the textile, the component variant, the images, everything should be ready before to get into the design because it's gonna be more easy, we're gonna work faster. Normally, the team create the design system and the post on the team library. So the whole team, the designer and the coder can use the same design language. So it's gonna be more consistent and easy for everyone. Today, we're gonna use some component that I took from the community and I created by myself for some button and the tab bar. So we're gonna mix together, then it should be more fast than before, especially when you are beginner. So let's start with the screen. For the color, if you don't have any idea which color to pick, you can go to the color.co gradient. So they prepare all the color and you can just copy and pass. They have the number of the color. You can just click and it's copy. Then you go to pass on your Figma. You can prepare your own color or you can just come to the website for any inspiration. But for my design, I use a mix of from community, a mix of design plus code, and I mix some my own color as well. You can take any color you want. It should have a good contrast ratio. The vibrant color is more for the button, for the textile, and the color neutral is more for the header, is more for the textile, and the gradient is more for the button. If you have already prepared your color, you can just add on the property panel. So you can just click on the style panel and then click on the plus create style. Then you can name your color and you click on create. So you have your color here. For my case, we already add the color. This is color from Design Plus Code from our team. So I can just come here and took any color and I have my own personal color. I have the color from the community. Yeah, it's very useful. So it's better to have everything ready before starting your app. So we can see I prepare a lot of variation of the design. I want to see which one fit better with the background. So the vibrant color, vibrant gradient is more for the button. So I have blue, pink, black and pink. So when the background is black, you should have something with vibrant color. So this is another style that I made. I, I custom my own style, you know. Of course, in reality, we're not gonna make a glassmorphism app or a design like this. It's, it's more for your presentation. Normally, I like to do something creative. I want to make something different. This one is black and blue. So it's important to build a lot of variation of the design. And then at the end, you can choose which one you prefer the most. So when you prepare everything ready, your image, component, variant, color, textile, everything. Normally, you can create your app in like 10 minutes. So let's create the explore screen. So we're going to start to bring the art bar. So press A for art bar. So we're going to take the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, it's the same size, bring it in the frame. We're going to add the glass morphism effects. So it's important that it blend with the background. Let's add the corner rated at 40 degree. For the opacity, we're going to decrease at 30%. 
we're going to add the linear we're gonna blend skew a little bit like that we're gonna do the same thing as the onboarding screen so at the top left corner it's gonna be 100 percent and the bottom is going to be zero and we're gonna add the stroke we're gonna do the same thing add the linear colors so the top left is going to be white and it's going to be 50 percent for the top and for the bottom it's going to be black at 35 percent we're going to add the blending mode and we're going to choose the overlay to blend with the background color because overlay will take the color at the back so you're going to follow if the background is purple, it's going to follow the purple. Now let's bring the basic component. We need the status bar. We need the home indicator. We need tab bar. So let's place everything. It should be at the top, align and tab bar. We already have the home indicator, so we can delete this one. Let's do the same thing. But you can customize your own style. I do a lot of variations, so it's going to be your choice. So let's align at the bottom. I already create my own component and variant. So it's going to be easy to change the design. For example, this one is a background blur, but I want black. I'm going to choose the shape first. I want the round top left. All right. So for the color, it's going to be the solid. So you can change for the dark mode. For the explore screen, it should be at this cover. So let's change this cover. Now we're going to add the search field. We can just tap search field. Let's set at the bottom a little bit. And we're going to add the title. It's going to be this cover. I use the textile from the community. So let's detach. If you publish on your library, you should see the textile here. This is from Design Plus Code, but I want from Figma because I want to follow Apple design. Normally, for the title, it should be bold and for the size, it should be 34. For the title, it should be bold and title 2 or large title at 34. It's your choice. So you can see the search field where we don't see anything. It's not contrast. In this case, you can change for the dark mode. Now we're going to add the text and the image, the button. So let's add the nav bar. We're going to create this text. Let's bring everything and we can adjust the alignment after. So this should be this title. I'm going to add the image. So this one is too big. I'm going to set the small. When it's for the text, it should be the label. It depends on the background. If the background is too dark, so the text should be light. When the background is light, the text should be dark. That's why we have uh, many variation of the textile. So the textile is from the community that I took from Joey Banks. It's very helpful because when you are a beginner, you don't know what kind of text to pick. So there you go. For the text, it's label. You can play with the, the color. But normally, the first text should be the primary and the second text should be the secondary. Depend on how the contrast fit with your design. So here, I'm going to write new release. And for the second text, I'm going to write see all. So for the image, uh, you can change for any topic you want. For example, read, calm. This is the image that I took from Unsplash is a free image that you can download. Let's take this one. Normally, you should align every component. The spacing should be the same. For example, if you align this first one is 30. So this one should be 30 as well. What we can do, we can just adjust. So it's 30. Same thing for the image. You see it's 21. Let's go at the right a little bit. 30. It should be 30 everywhere. So I'm going to add the second image. I can just duplicate and bring at the right a little bit or I can just add the auto layout. It's going to add the alignment for me automatically. The padding I'm going to add 20. Now let's add the text with the subtitle. So we have the title and subtitle. Let's change the color of the search field. We don't see much. So let's enable dark mode. Now we see the contrast, right? Okay, this one I'm going to change the image. It's going to be the beach. Now let's create the title and the subtitle. 
So I add auto layout, the two tags. So the first text is 17 and the label is dark primary. And the second should be the secondary. And for the size is 12. So let's create this one. I'm going to right focus. So we can go directly to the textile. I can choose the headline. And for the color, it should be label here. I'm going to add the second text. The subtitle is going to be 12 caption one. And the color should be the secondary. Now let's add an auto layout. Let's write the subtitle. So you select the two layer. Shortcut for the auto layout, shift A. You can change the spacing between item here. You can add a padding and you can align. If you put at the middle is two layer going to fit at the middle. But I want to put at the left side. So let's do like this. Let's add the fill container to fit the empty space. The first text should fit with the second text. So the empty spacing going to hug with the second text. And when you want to resize, it should move like this. So fill container, it's going to fill the empty space. Let's align at the left side a little bit. Let me write title, duplicate the title and bring with the second image like this. So we can add the auto layout to make sure that it's very aligned properly. And also we can add the auto layout for all the content together after. Now let's add the button. So I'm going to the asset, big button. Let's bring here, we're gonna center. So let's change for the corner radius. I don't want with the 30 degree one with 16 corner radius. And I would like to change the color. So it's going to be pink. So we can just go at the fill style here that we already add on the color style panel. So I'm going to add the color from Design Plus Gold. So the pink one, there you go. And we're going to write the text. Just going to copy pass. There we go. Put at the top a little bit. Okay, let's add everything together. Add auto layout. For the spacing, let's add 30. So I'm gonna bring a little bit at the top. Okay, now we're going to add the small button for the menu. So let's align at the left side. So the spacing it should be 30. So I can bring on the auto layout. So now we're going to ungroup. I add the auto layout because I just want the component aligned for me automatically. So when I don't need, I just ungroup. When I want to add the menu side by side, I should take up the auto layout, right? The alignment on the top is already done. Now we're going to focus on the menu at the bottom. I'm going to duplicate the button and make it side by side. Let's add the auto layout. For the spacing, it's going to be the same thing as this one. It's going to be 20. So let's duplicate another one and option and drag at the bottom. Let's change the topic for each button. So this one is going to be sleep. When I set the variant, so it's very easy to change instead of to start from scratch all the time. It's very helpful. So before you starting your app, just make sure to create all of your component and variant that you can reuse. And this one is going to be read. And for the icon, I took from SS Symbol on Apple Developer because it's more easy for me to took the icon and I can just copy paste. It's more fast. This is for something very basic. You can took from them. If you want icon more specific, you can go get on any platform or you can go get on Shape, that's SO, or you can go on the Figma community. So we are almost done. Now we're going to add the same nav bar here. I can just duplicate this one and bring at the bottom. If I align this one, it should be at the back of the tab bar. So bring at the bottom. So let's align everything together to make sure that we have everything aligned 
properly except the title the title i'm going to bring at the top so let's put your component in order it's more easy to read for example we have status bar so it should be at the top we have the title we have the search field we have nav bar we have the images and we have the second nav bar and we have the image title and we have the button here we have the images we have menu menu one menu two let's make an order now let align everything together so the tab bar should be at the top so we can select all the layer all the component together let's ship a so we got auto layout for the spacing let's add 20 it should be something like this so for this one i'm going to change the text let's review if everything is fine we have the status bar oh, oh the title is should be outside of the auto layout so let's take off from the frame and now we're going to center the title okay let's put a little bit at the bottom so it should look like this there we go everything is consistent the spacing between all of the components vertically is 20 and at the left side the padding is 30 everywhere okay i think it's perfect now if i want to create another style of the screen for example with another color let's duplicate this one first so you will be able to change your design you can change the dark mode here right and you can change the image you can change for the big image if you want to put one image you can put only one if you want to change the color just come to the color style and change whatever you want blue uh you can change for dark mode you can change with chevron you can change the shape for 30 degree for the corner radius when you prepare everything especially the components save you a lot of time so i can just change the the size of the image change the button you can change the tab bar i can change for the profile this time i want with background blur and i want rectangle this time so when all your component is all aligned you can just ungroup so i use the auto layout because i need to align for me so now i don't need that anymore so i can just ungroup so you can play with the button you can just make smaller if you want if you think it's too big so you can play something like that we can make the height a little bit smaller and for the image you can put two image instead of one so let's bring another one okay let's try with the another image this time i'm going to the small one i have to align with the left side and then i'm gonna duplicate and make two small image side by side the spacing it should be 20. so we can change the image for this one is going to be stone this one is going to be yoga and we can change the text of course so that's it for the design if you are able to create this whole screen so you will be able to create another style so you will be able to create the home screen or the music screen if you have already your component it will be more easy so this is the first page is the first style that i create so let's test with the prototype to see how it look like so i just prototype the the easy stuff so we're going to go at the discover page okay now i'm going to choose some activity here so i'm going to choose the breed okay now let's go back i did not put a type play button yet it's just for testing so let's go back good i want to go back at the home page so voila my prototype work so this is a simple way to practice your apps so that's it for today hope you enjoy this tutorial and i hope it's helpful for you so see you on the next video and don't worry i will put everything on my figma file so make sure to follow and subscribe thank you see you on the next one